Hi Scorpio, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. We're going to do Destiny Oracles and a few tarot for you to start the week, some energy around you. You received, uh, well that's too many cards, so. We are going to receive the, these cards. Uh, Scorpio, 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 thank you. All right, there we go. So we have two messages. We have the energy of home and the energy of knowledge. Okay, so those are your first two oracles. The energy of home is the number 10 and the message around that is come back home, Scorpio. Be who you truly are. Bam, I love it. Okay, next we have the energy of the knowledge card. And for me, I wrote, need more information before you proceed. So if there's something you're trying to figure out what you're going to do around, there's a message here from my guidance and Oracle saying, maybe you need to get a little more information. That's all up to you, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, we're going to throw some destiny now. And then we will throw tea leaf tarot excuse me, tea leaf oracles, and wrap it up with a couple tarot cards. This is energy for you, Scorpio, moving into next week, Oracle and Destiny Guidance. Uh, well, I will uh, sort of uh, add the icing on the cake with a few uh, tarot cards to maybe uh, connect the dots a little more, but this is General Oracle Guidance for you next week, energetically, Scorpio. So the energy of home, remember, come back home, be who you are. No doubt you're going to do that, Scorpio. And you need to possibly consider getting some more information around something that crosses your path now or next week sometime before you make a decision. Messages, destiny messages for Scorpio. Here we go, Scorpio. First message is, wow. Great, great energy around your ability to manifest and your work. Uh, I love that. Next, we have secrets. There are secrets around you, things that you may be keeping a secret, Scorpio, keeping to yourself. They could be thoughts, feelings, personal connections. They could be things you just don't feel like sharing. Love. There's beautiful love around you, and if you have any family close by, they love, love, love you next week, especially if you have children or are a parent. There's children around in general that just love the Scorpio next week. Next, we have the energy of overthinking, uh, maybe a little insomnia, uh, manifesting. You, uh, you know, you're going to be making money, but, uh, you know, it's a toil, but you're making it. Karma for the week, oh, health. Take care of your health, uh, Scorpio. Show up. And there is also a message with this energy of travel. Relationships that have ended that you're thinking about. There's the jack of clubs. It can be literally somebody that, uh, you know, um, somebody that you're thinking about from your past that you have some baggage around, unknown variable is disappointment around someone that's connected with you, whether they're family or lovers or people that you work with. There will be some, uh, you can expect people to disappoint you a little bit next week, something that they do. You may say, oh crap, what'd you do that for? It doesn't have to be a monumental thing, Scorpio, okay? So just let it go. The energy of new love. If you don't have love around, there is love. And there's also the energy of you sacrificing for the people that you do love. Don't squeeze too tightly. Anything you have to do um, energetically next week around love and or money, just do your best and release, Scorpio. Trust and believe. Messages for Scorpio from the tea leaf tarot. Thank you. Messages from Scorpio from the tea leaf. Guidance from these oracle cards, please. Thank you. And there we go. Okay, you got a couple messages, Scorpio. The first one is August. Something's coming in August. Okay, that's not too far away, Scorpio. Something's coming in August. The energy of the rabbit. Too much concern with sex. Come on, Scorpio. We know you got it, but relax some. The next energy is something's coming in October. Your calendar's filling up, Scorpio. 
Let's see what we can connect with around that. Let's throw a few tarot to wrap this up. Scorpio. Okay, you're the unicorn. Justice, fair and balanced outcomes. The energy of a fire sign. So if you're doing your best in a relationship with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Libra, that's all you can do. Uh, the victory card. You will overcome whatever I talked about here. If there's something going on you need to resolve, you will. The energy of fire again. So some of you uh, Scorpios are covered up with a fire sign next week. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And your money's not going anywhere fast. It's moving kind of slowly. On the bottom of the deck, guess what? We have the energy of fire again. The king of wands. So uh, some of you as Scorpios, this is directly towards your energy connections with fire. Um, there is also the energy of air here. There's something that could be connected around anything or everything I talked about that's coming for you around August and October. Hey, listen, have a super week, Scorpio. Please comment. Let me know what you think about these videos. This is Blue Hill Tarot. I want to thank you so much for your support, Scorpio. Take care.